Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's Friday, February 3rd, and I brought a banana plant up from the cellar. I've been losing a lot of the smaller pups that I broke off and I just never got to putting them in soil. And they're in the cellar. I've been keeping them bare root, but they're just all turning into mush. So I wasn't going to uh, keep them because it's just a lot of work, but it broke down and I try to salvage salvage this one. The larger ones uh, last a little bit longer. Um, so I put this in the soil, brought it back up. It's a little bit warmer up here than in the cellar. It's getting some sun. And I cut this down, try to cut down all the rot. Um, what happens is this center leaf that pushes up, it starts to rot. And I don't know what the percentage is, but the banana plant is high percentage of water. So the rot just starts to feed on itself and it turns into mush real quick, especially in a cold, dark cellar. So I cut it down to here and this has been pushing up now. So what happens is this can rot and it'll look like this on the outside, but the center is all rotten. And what happens is the, the top will, will dry out and brown and unless you cut it, you can't see where the rot is and you just have to keep on slicing until you get past the rot and get some nice new green center uh, leaf or shoot. So I did that on, on, on this one. You can see it's already pushed up a little bit and I'm hoping it's going to make it. The lar like I said, the larger ones can make it, but the ones that didn't, even though it looked good, when I sliced them, this center was just black and you just keep on slicing and you'll see the centers is always black until you get down to the comb and then you find out that the comb actually starts to rot itself too with a rhizome. And it's now Sunday, February 19th and you can see the leaf starting to unfurl. You can see the center stem there where I cut it off and all that stem has come out of the center. So it won't be long until a complete leaf is out with this stem. Of course this one is half a leaf because of the cut I made. Hi everyone, today's Saturday, April 29th is an update on the banana plant. And I just brought it outside the other day. And it's not used to the wind so it's getting shredded a little bit. I have it uh, on the little nook. I put it in a little nook to uh, cut down on the wind, but I brought it over here so I can videotape it. Uh, there's one step here that I did not catch on uh, camera, and that is when it was in the house, um, it pushed out a center leaf, and then it seemed to have stopped. So closer inspection, there was something I didn't come across before. Uh, the center was pushing out, but sandwiched between an outside green layer and the center uh, was a rotted layer that went all the way down to the corn. And like this, I removed it. And I re removed so much, so many layers that there was just a very thin center stalk that I had to support with this bamboo stake. But now it's just all, it's rigid again and solid. And uh, it's coming back now, real strong. But that's what you have to watch out for. You know, even when it's in the house and it's, you know, in, in the upper 60s that work for you to keep the house uh, in the wintertime in New England. There's just a not lot, lot going on. And uh, you, know, you get rot with these banana plants real easily. So it's a good thing I caught that or that would eventually rotted uh, the inner uh, stalk too, uh, all the way down to the corn and we would have had to start all over again. But yeah, it's getting thick again, building on the layers um, as the center comes out the outside so it gets pushed out. 
and it becomes thicker and thicker. So now that it's outside, I should probably get a lot of growth out of this now. Although tomorrow's supposed to, like uh, I said just earlier, it's going to be like 56 degrees tomorrow. It's going to be a 30 degree difference. So I might put this in the lean too. So this is New England Gardening on the update on the. I think this is the only banana plant that I've got. Thanks for watching.